Hi everyone outside there that is following my lessons on BTN TV right now. Again, it is Teacher Fred in the studio who is going to present another lesson just like as usual. For those who have been following us, they know where we started from and they know where we are. Yes, today I want to look at how we can multiply integers without a number. That is what I want us to look at today specifically. So when you look at the first example, the first example says work out the product of positive 5 and negative 20. So uh, specifically considering the principles of indices just like we had shared earlier. Remember we said that when you have a positive integer times a positive integer, it will give us positive answer. At the same time, I also said, when you have a negative integer times a negative integer, it will give us a positive integer. That will be the answer. Then at the same time, I said, when you have a negative integer times a positive integer, it will give us a negative integer. Then at the same time also, when you have a positive integer times a negative integer, you will come out with a negative integer. So you have to put these groups together. The first group that gives us positive, it has got the same signs. When you see here, a sign which is here and the same sign here, just know the results must be positive. The sign which is here is the same sign which is there, just know the results must be positive, and that only works in multiplication. So, positive plus times positive, it will give us a positive. Then, negative times a negative, it will give us a positive at the same time. So, when we come to the second two options, you realize that this group also gives us positives. I mean, negatives. When you have a negative times a positive, when you're multiplying two different signs, the answer or the product must be a negative result. Then we have positive times a negative. That one will also give us negative. So let's look at this. When we look at our number, we have got a positive integer times a negative integer. And this lies somewhere here. So when they say product, we mean multiplying. So we shall say negative positive. This is the first integer. The word product, we say it means multiplying. So I shall say positive 5 times. Then the second integer will be negative 20. This is the same as saying positive 5 times negative 20. The first thing you have to know, we have said we have a positive integer, which is that one now. We are multiplying with a negative integer here, which is this. So the answer must be negative. So we shall say is equal to negative. So we come and multiply out. We shall say 5 times 2. 5 times 2. 5 times 2, it will give us 10. But remember here we had more one zero. So I will have to add here another one zero. So finally I will say, therefore, Times negative 20, it 100. Then from there, I'll have to my work. So from that, we have now realized that the most important thing to be considered in this case is to master the two signs well. A positive with a positive gives us positive, negative with negative gives us positive. Then negative times, post, uh, times positive, it gives us negative. At the same time, a positive integer times a negative integer gives us a negative. Let's try to extend to example two and we see what we may come out with as well. So when you look at example two, example two says, example two says, multiply, Number two says multiply 
45 by negative 100. So I want us to look at that. Here, when you look at the number, they have said we multiply this by that. So I will first of all say 45 negative 100. What do we suppose to consider? We say the any number without a sign is a positive number. So it means 45, even if it doesn't have a sign, but it is a positive number. So I will have 45, I will say I have a positive integer, times, here we have a negative. So we shall say times a negative integer, the answer must be negative. Their products must be a negative. So I will say 45 times negative 100. I know the answer must be negative because of this. This is a positive, this is a negative. So I'll come out with a negative as my answer. So I will have 45 times 100 negative. It will give us negative 1,500. Negative 1,500. This will be underlined. Then we shall also continue and look at another example. We shall look at example three. We shall look at example three, which says work out, work out negative 30 times negative 30. So I want us to look at that. Example three, negative 30 times negative 30. So what are we supposed to consider here? The first thing we have to say, we have to take it, uh, the signs with negative times, this side also a negative. We have negative times negative. Remember, according to our principles of indices, or rules of indices, the negative times a negative, we know the answer must be a positive product. So negative 30, negative 30 will give us positive, because a negative times a negative will give us a positive. Then from I will say 3 times 3 to 9. Then I will say how many zeros have remained here? 1, 2. So they will be 1, Two. So the answer will be positive 900. When you have a negative, a negative 30 times negative 30, we shall come out with positive 900. We won't stop here as we still proceed. This is just a reminder. Are you a candidate outside there? And the following our lesson, our lessons, please. Make sure by the end of the lesson, at least you have picked If not, then make sure you go back on BTN TV, that's Rwanda, and download something from there or watch something or a lesson that we have just delivered today on their YouTube. Just subscribe to their channels, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter accounts, and so on. You all these lessons there, everything that we have been doing, you'll find it there. Once you open there, you'll find out more work about this and you'll go through for your understanding. In case maybe they have, you have just switched on late and you feel like you have not really understood well, what you do, just go back and do that. Subscribe everything, you'll be updated with everything. In case of any lesson, I mean any question in this, Still, I always advise you, send your question to me, I'll get back to you as it is required, as long as the question is related to what we are doing. So when we look at this, we have looked at example one, example two, now we come to example three, we have done it, so I want, us, I want you to try, I'll call it trial number, trial 
number. I want you to try this before I give out exercise. Try your numbers. Well, I have the first one as workout. A twenty positive times negative four. Positive fifty one. I wanted to work out this. After this, then we go through together and you compare your answer with what we have come out with. Within one man, one minute I expect you to be summarizing, then we continue. Remember the the principles of integers whereby when you look at the first one we have a negative and a positive on the same question at the same time B we have also a negative and a positive so make sure you follow the principles of indices before you can come out with the right answer I hope you are already done with A in case you are not done with A try to hurry up so that we can cope up as you put this in consideration, Teacher Fred is from Wisdom Center, Ujesela District, just in Kalumuna here. We offer quality services at a friendly pay or friendly school fees, as friendly as 70,000 from baby class to P6 class. Put this in consideration. Teachers have already handled the children outside there well. They're impacting them with the skills, knowledge, and the morals as well. We don't only look at or focus on academics, but we focus on the welfare of a child. With the academics, they are performing well, ever. Just like I always give you the reference of national examination of 90, above 90 in a division one, and less than, less than 10 in a division two. And those who came in division two, I always tell you, they managed to score 16 aggregates. None went beyond that. So always move with us. And trust us with your children. Send them more. We still have enough facilities. We still have enough facilities for your kids. We have a conducive environment. Teachers are friendly to kids. Send them. Let them handle your children. You'll never regret tomorrow. Please keep in touch with us. So let's look at this number. We summarize, then you go to another one. We said we have positive 20. Positive 20 times negative 4. What we need to look at here mostly is the signs. We have positive times negative. And basing on what we had just looked at earlier, we said a positive times a negative shall always come out with the results as a negative. So the product will be negative, meaning that I will have my 20, positive 20 times my negative 4 which will give us, first of all, this must be in negative. So I'll say the product will be negative. After getting negative, then I'll say 20 times 4, that will give us 80. So positive 20 times negative 4, it will give us negative 80. If you have got that, you can as well put a tick. Then let's continue to B. That was A. Number B, they said, we have negative 10 times 51 positive. What are we supposed to consider? Let's first of all consider a negative times a positive. What will be the outcome of a negative times a positive? A negative. We have a negative times a positive. It is a negative. We have, B. We have negative 10 times positive 51 which will give us 
510. Remember, it is negative because it is a negative times a positive. So when we multiply all this, we shall come out with negative 510. If you have that, put a tick. As I wind up with my lesson, allow me also leave you with some few numbers to go through and work them out. We will submit them for marking on the rightful journal that BTN will soon communicate to you where to submit your work. You will be marked, you will be responded to. In case of any question, teachers will always be there for you. You will be answered on time. So exercise, you can switch on to this. As I write, you will be writing. In case it happens that uh, maybe they switch off to another program area, when you have not completed, simply subscribe BTN TV Rwanda. Check on their YouTube channels, check on their Facebook accounts, Twitter accounts, and Instagram. You'll find everything there. Work out the following integers. without without using number line so we are going the numbers which are going to be given here i want you to work them out without using a number line the first one As I write, I hope you'll be writing as well. So let's look at the last numbers that we have been given on activity. They have said work out the following integers without using a number line. Number one, they want us to find out what to work out 24 times negative 13. Remember I said any number without a sign is a positive number. So this is just like saying positive 24 times negative 13. Number two, they want us to multiply positive 5 with negative 20. Five. Number three, they want us to multiply positive four with the positive 25. Then number four, they are requiring us to multiply negative 21, I mean negative 41 with the negative three. Then lastly, they want us to multiply positive six with positive 30. So from there, still we shall continue with the next number. Now I want us, as you have looked at multiplication of integers, I want us still, there we looked at multiplication of integers without a number line. And at this same round, I want us to look at this addition of integers without a number line as well, first of all. I want us to look at it without a num line. So find the sum of this, of negative 20 and positive 12 without without using without using a number without using a number line so i want us to look at this this example here again without using a number line to work out what they have given us here so when you look at this number you realize that it is very different from the numbers that we have been handling here we didn't have here, we, at first, we looked at multiplication, but here, we are dealing with addition. So when you look at the way how we add integers and the way how we multiply integers, they are not the same. We don't do it in the same way. 
when we are multiplying we have different concepts that we follow or else we can also call them principles that we follow now this time around I want us to look at how we can add the integers so for instance when we are given this they want us to find the sum remember the word sum simply mean addition so we shall say negative 20 is what they have given us plus remember the word sum means addition plus positive 12. This is what we have. So when we have such a number, the first thing we have to do is we have to recognize the signs that are here. We have to recognize the signs that are there. So we shall say a positive with a positive, it will give us a positive. So this is the same as saying negative 20 plus 12. Remember this is, this is positive. Even if I don't write this statement, still this one can help you to identify what you need. You'll come aside and draw this table, which, has, which will be containing negatives and positives. I'll have my positive side and my negative side. So I'll consider this as positive side, then I consider this as negative side. This one, the side is not determined by any. If you got another side positive. So if you knew the way how you arrange it is the way how it will be used. Meanwhile, what you need to consider is the way how you plot this. Now I wonder when we look at the first number here, we have got uh, 20. Plotted negative 20, or we have identified negative signs. Then if I identify negative sign. This is my negative side, right? So if this is my negative side, I have to put there 20 negative signs. I'll say this is it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Because I have negative 20. Then when I check this side, I'm having 12. So it is just like I've told you, this would give us positive. So I will say negative 20 plus 12. This one will go with this negative, this will go with this positive. But remember, plus we are now having positive 12. So I will come on a positive side and I write there post 12 positive signs. So I will say this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. I have 12 signs on the positive side. I have 20 signs on the negative side. Thereafter, I'll come and cancel out one negative, positive, I cancel out one negative. I cancel one on the positive, I cancel one on the negative. I cancel one on the positive, I cancel one on the negative. Positive, negative. I cancel on the positive, I cancel on the negative. Don't just cancel here, then you come again, you can No. When you have to cancel another one, the other side. So I will cancel out this, I will cancel out this. I will cancel this out, I will cancel this out. I will cancel this out, I will cancel this out. I will cancel this out, I will cancel this out. I will cancel one here, I cancel one here. I cancel one here, I cancel one here. I cancel one here, I cancel one here. Then I will come and count. How many have I cancelled here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What about this side? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So they are balancing. This side I've cancelled the 12, this side I've also cancelled the 12. Now from there, let's look at this. Eh? Which side is still having more signs? You really when you have the other side, we still have more signs. How many are remaining? When you check here like this, the number of signs we are remaining with. So we need to, and what we sh the number of signs we are remaining with is the answer we are to write. So how many are Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Negative 20 
plus positive 12 will give us negative 8. Then from there, I'll have to underline my answer. Meaning that, in simple terms, to understand this, it is just like saying somebody is demanding you 20 cows, but in actual sense, you have 12. So if you pay 12, that person will still demand you 8 cows. Okay? Then from there, let's go to the second and we'll see what we are supposed to do as addition of integers are concerned. As we're trying to summarize, put this in mind. You are a pupil. You want to go to a good school where they don't pay too much money, but it's a very good one. That is Wisdom Center from Bujasera District. School fees is only 70 with the quality education, with the friendly teachers. Just ask your parent to forward you or to bring you at Wisdom Center. You will enjoy. So when we come to the second example about this, we shall say, add negative 10 on O plus 24. There is one thing you have to put in mind. So we say any number without a sign is a positive number. So what we need to do here is to identify this. I'll say I have negative 10. Then at the same time we have positive 24. So from there, we shall draw our table. Identify one side as negative, one side as a positive. After identifying there, how many negatives do we have here? We have 10. So I will say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then from there, I will come to positive side. How many do we have? 24. I will say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 21, 22, 23, 24. They are 24. So if there are 24 signs, we shall now cancel them out. We shall say 1, 1, 2, 2. I cancel one here, I cancel one here, I cancel one here, I cancel one here. Cancel one here, cancel this side. Cancel one here, cancel one. Cancel here, cancel here. You cancel one here, you cancel one here. Cancel out to this, cancel out to this. Cancel on this side, cancel out this side. Then you count these ones. How many were they? They were 10. What about this way? How many have you also canceled out? They are also 10. So from there, let's come and find out how we counted the ones we have remained with and on this side. When you look at this, we have remained with it on the positive side, meaning that if you have negative 10 plus 24, it will give us positive as the answer. Then from there we shall say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it will be positive 14. This is what is supposed to be done. From there, I'll also give you some two numbers. So add on what is done. We we'll summarize this day. As we are doing exercise, put this BTN TV is coming out with a system where you be submitting your answers for marking and for finding questions at the same time. In case of anything you didn't understand, still you will be using the same system to get explanation from different teachers. So let's write this. Add the following integers.
without the first one I have 25 plus negative 8 negative 8 I mean negative 81 plus 80 number 3 I have positive 12 plus 12. Number 4, we have negative 9 plus positive 10. Last thing, number 5, we have negative 3 plus positive 3. Let's work out this and you'll be updated on what next. Work out. If it, there is any challenge, definitely you'll forward it and we'll see what we have to do. Keep following our lessons and we wish you